Okay. Is this where those copies of me came from? Being like born? It's in the lab too. Okay. Nine shotgun, four healing, one bunch of white sage. My seed absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. One, memory, memories, quote unquote, that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the you know, my seat in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. Who attuned to the you know, my seat in life. So people who had some form of control over it before have some control within the memories. A la Duke, a la Evelyn, a la Ethan. This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete, and yet I do not despair. For this fate has granted me fascinating insight. All those years I strive, I have continued to continue to strive. They are not for nothing. The memory is the consciousness. Understanding and knowledge I accumulated in life have transformed here into the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into, ooh, into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all the, my years of research, Rosemary Winters. So, still trying to resurrect Rose. Or resurrect your daughter through Rose. Game's being very generous right now. Granted, I know I just had a whole section that did not involve any combat. Or at least none that I could actually fight back on. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that the perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the result were less than ideal, it would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. Some other actor within this realm. A flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem essentially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Huh. I... The uh, extra added theory here was the K guy who we met up with in hopes of removing the powers and who offered this as a suggestion somehow corrupted by the Mega My Seat. And that's why I made the suggestion to use it to remove 
her powers. Like, somehow tested on himself, got corrupted, then decided to basically offer Rose up. Additional observations for their experiments with these Rose copies, as I've taken to call all these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When so Rejected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been watching the entire time. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with the consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running around enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been the v on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will, will to live and her mutamycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. I mean, your cave is the one giving me all the bullets. And apparently more sage. Which, actually, real quick, before I dive into deeper waters, let me... Save after picking up all the ammo. Yes, all the ammo. The fact that it was just a lore dump does make me think it's close to the end. Cause that was a lot of dialogue. <laughs> or a lot of... Epilogue. Not epilogue. Exposition. Except for written instead of... Monologue. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. Ah, oh, more. That pull, I've been feeling it only as close. But I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it it you know, when I saw the blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close, I was so close. Black God, which lives in us and which we, in which we live, crave for us a new world. As befits your will, your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the last lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve, and once again deliver onto life. I just picked up sage and a lot of bullets. I do not believe this is over. Oh, we're sitting on top of the giant's chalice too.
Oh. <laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful to me. Far too powerful for me to subdue. I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willing. Yeah, that makes me think she corrupted the other dude. No, but Kay said, did he? Or did I? Or did I? That was an illusion. Oh! Very Got into her brain instead. No way. Now you can become the vessel to my. Follow daddy and run faster. You need to like. Stop with having the crisis. And run. Like actually run. I get daddy's here. But come on. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Ethan? Shoot her, please. Stay away from my family. Rose, come on. Go to daddy. Into the light. Got in into a giant arena. Ethan, persistence is always. Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. this you think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain foolish with how intent you were on my throwing them away i think they just might why do you Why 
suffer needs. Let's see this power. Bullets that you provided? It took so much to lure me, but you're incredible. Well, you might change your mind when I put an end to your plan. Your time is up. Oh. Hitting you or not? Oh, I don't have enough charge. Oh god, this again. Also, here I come. That won't work. <laughs> How about this? Ow. Dodging great. Oh lord. What the? What the? Camera. What the? There's no shields. You. Wicked witch at the end of her reign. 
And you kill the only one who understands. You just won't give up. You really are. That stubborn that shines inside me makes you perfect best. Can you be dead yeah, already? his ring. I guess that's just a m lingering memory of him. Not really showing Ethan's face. Even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> There's a model for his face. You don't have to hide it. I'm back. 
I know, more questions of how you even got there. If Kay was just an illusion and not corrupted by Miranda to lead you there. Also, why was that thing not thrown into a fucking incinerator? <laughs> oh! Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? And then it loops okay. to the end. Very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is <laughs> And now it's the end of village again. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> I love you. It, I mean, it, I guess it kind of explains. Well, I don't know why the textures on the grass look so weird. I don't remember looking that weird situation in regular village. Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Also explains why she gets so pissed at Evelyn. Doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. Still question who the fuck you are and how the fuck would you know <laughs> I guess maybe from that combat training Chris made him do but what the fuck uh, I'm now more confused though this is supposed to wrap up the winter saga but Rose still has powers at the end of it Also, there's, like, a flash of what looks like a person there. I'm... What? I know people even said, who follow this more than I do, that it wrapped up. Like, how does it wrap up while also leaving this gaping hole that was the ending of Village still the ending of village. Cause Rose still has powers. She's now a bioweapon. Like the only thing you can maybe say, which actually no, you can't even say that because she hints that she still has powers there. The Mega should be gone. But still no. Oh my god. Like, it still leaves such a hole of you have now a living bioweapon, not the only one, granted, walking around. I thought it was going to be she gets what she needs to, eliminates her powers, and the Megamycete is literally just done. Gone. Completely gone. 
No more Mega My Seat at all, ever. Like a lingering piece of it existed, she went through it, got rid of her powers, and it disintegrated into rubble. But no! I'm also surprised Duke himself wasn't a fight of sorts. But, oh, 